Again, I, I want to thank you all for, and Brownie, you're doing a heck of a job. The FEMA director is working 24 hours. Brownie, you're doing a heck of a job, kind of infamous words around these parts. Shortly before the former FEMA director, Michael Brown, was relieved of his Katrina duties, he told the Associated Press that he was eager to get back to Washington to correct, in his words, quote, all the inaccuracies and lies that are being said in the media about his agency and himself. Now, for years after Katrina, uh, he tried to work as a consultant advising paying clients, get this, how to prepare for disasters and emergencies. By the way, on his resume at that company, which he no longer works for, that didn't mention the word Katrina. He talked vaguely about working on the 2004, 2005 hurricane seasons. He clearly has a vested interest in trying to rehabilitate his image. He's now apparently working as a radio talk show host. Now, earlier this week, Politico published his latest image rehab effort, a long piece titled, quote, Stop Blaming Me for Hurricane Katrina, talking about himself. And in it, he writes, and I quote, People are still saying now, as they said then, that what went wrong in New Orleans a decade ago was all my fault. They were wrong then, and they are wrong now. Now, for the record, on this show, we have never said it was all his fault. We've always been clear to point out mistakes were made at the local level, the state level, at the federal levels. But anyway, in this Politico piece, Brown blames state officials. He blames local officials. He blames Trent Lott, who is the time a U.S. senator from Mississippi. The only mistake he admits making in this Politico piece is in how he handled the media, and he singles out this show and me by name. He writes, quote, when CNN's Anderson Cooper asked shortly after Katrina hit to accompany one of those teams, meaning a relief team, so he could record the rescue of victims, my instinctive answer was to decline the request. If I let a national news figure and a cameraman on a rescue boat, that boat would have too fewer spots on it for victims in need of rescuing. He said no, and that, he says, was a big mistake. He writes, Cooper and his cameraman rented a boat and with total disregard or ignorance of the systematic grid-driven rescue of victims, managed to find a house with victims yet to be rescued. He goes on to say, as Cooper and his cameraman reported on their rescue, the inevitable question of where the rescuers are was asked, and the next stage of blame began. He went on to say, based on that one isolated, out-of-context rescue, the narrative was set that the rescue efforts were disjointed in disarray and uncoordinated. So as Mr. Brown sees that one single incident that he alleges I reported on, set the narrative that there wasn't great coordination, never mind the fact that there were plenty of reporters in plenty of boats and other locations seeing confusion on the ground. He also claims we rented a boat, which, by the way, we didn't. We borrowed a boat that wasn't being used for about an hour. Most importantly, though, he's saying we came upon some people who hadn't been rescued, and that based on that one example, we started claiming things were disjointed in disarray and uncoordinated. Take a look at the part of the report that we assume he's talking about. Seven days after the storm, rescuers are still finding people trapped in their homes in flooded areas. They're trying to uh, pluck somebody out right now from their home. It's amazing to think that this person has lasted this long living in these conditions. They're right over there. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there. On, look out there. Look at there on the porch. A boat of rescuers from a nearby town try to radio the chopper that they can help. They don't have direct communication. There they go. What's frustrating for a lot of rescuers, though, is the lack of coordination. There's people here, there's a crew here from Destin on boats. They could have gone in had they known these people were here. They tried to signal to the chopper, and they could do it. He's going down again. The rescuer is going down. We believe there may be at least two more people in the house. He re-enters the water and then walks into the house, wraps up protective uh, bindings around the people, and then hoists them up. It is remarkable to see. Remarkable work by the Coast Guard there. The only lack of coordination that I discuss is the inability to communicate between separate agencies' crews by radio, and that was based on what rescuers themselves were telling us repeatedly. As for the people he claims that we then found, that we rescued, and then made all these claims, they were people who didn't want to leave their home because of their pets. So we actually weren't using them as an example of a failure by rescuers at all. We pointed out, in fact, in that report, that rescuers were doing remarkable things to save people's lives, and we did that constantly. It wasn't just, it was fish and wildlife, it was people from all over. And by the way, by the time we did that report, the problem of bad communication was such that Louisiana's governor had appointed a former head of FEMA, James Witt, in part to better coordinate rescue efforts. I spoke to Mr. Witt that very night by phone. 
Because I, I mean, I talked to a crew from Destin who were desperate. They had boats ready to go in the water, and then they had people from Fish and Wildlife telling them, "No, don't put the boats in here. This is our territory." Uh, I mean, is there a fight over turf going on here? No, it's just it's just a, 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 a miscommunication, and the organization needs to set up to, to take care of these problems. And that's what we're doing. And Mike Brown and I are in sync on it, and FEMA's in sync on it. The, the, the so is that going to be up and running tomorrow? It's going to be up and running by the end of tomorrow. So that was the 5th of September, a week into the crisis. James Witt, they're talking about improving communication and coordination and organization. One week in, and less than a week, by the way, before Michael Brown was relieved of duty. So Mike Brown, whatever skills you may have, I hope they are better than your memory.